You know, one of the things that I notice all the time is the type of therapy you see in the movies and TV shows and the media. Yeah. Um, and then there's the type of therapy oftentimes that isn't as glamorized, mm -hmm. which is cognitive behavioral therapy or what we call um, evidence-based kind of more skills-based mm -hmm. therapies. Um, I'm curious kind of what pre you going and getting DBT yeah. and CBT, what did you think therapy was? I'm from the Bay Area, so it's pretty progressive. People are pretty open to talking about things. There was never an extreme aversion to like, I'm going into a therapist office for the first time. What is going to happen? I didn't want to be in therapy. I remember mm -hmm. being like, I'm not getting in the car. I'm not going in. It's not going to happen. But I don't necessarily remember consuming any type of content that made it seemed like once I got to the therapist's office, something terrible, crazy, horrible would happen. Well, that's good. It was just the <laughs> idea of more like logistics. I think this is like where the anxiety comes through. Like, what will my bed be like? What is my room going to be like? What uh -huh. am I going to eat? Like all these like random little questions that I had. Um, but there definitely was a lot of apprehension around what, the, I didn't think it was going to work. There was mm -hmm. a lot of fear around well, okay, I'm investing this time, I'm investing this energy. There was just no hope that there would be an outcome mm -hmm. or that what I would be doing would be worth it. And I feel like that's what is somewhat different as a teen. It's like a lot of the time, it's not your choice. You're going yeah. to therapy. Otherwise, you lose some other element of aut autonomy. And so it definitely was less an experience of how do I overcome this anxiety so I get to the therapy session and more you're going, that's just what's happening at mm -hmm. this point. So what was that like for you to have therapy feel, I don't know, did it feel structured? Did it yeah. feel organic? I loved it. I, again, there was so much avoidance to my thoughts and emotions. Like there was no way to articulate the urges I was having. I didn't even realize I was depressed. I just had low mood. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't doing anything. I was like in a vegetative state, but mm -hmm. I was like, this is fine. Mm -hmm. So there was just such an extreme level of avoidance that the thought of being in a more typical therapy session and being like, so how are you doing today? That was completely off the table. Mm -hmm. And so the structure of like, we learn this skill and you sit in this classroom setting and then we do hypotheticals was really brought off a lot of the anxiety. It felt really manageable. It felt okay. It felt like something I could do. I also remember when I did do a more typical talk-based therapy, working with a marriage and family therapist, less evidence-based, I would literally sit there and run out the clock. I don't know if you've ever had a patient do this, but I would sit in this couch, look at the clock and say nothing, the entire session. And so with DBT and CBT, you not only have those initial assumptions of like, I'm trying my best and I'm here to get better and I'm motivated and I'll try using the skills and that's like the understanding when you start DBT and CBT. But there was also this element of you can't sit here and run out the clock and stare at the ground because you're filling out a worksheet or you're talking about a hypothetical <laughs> argument that hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. And so being able to learn those skills in that safer setting mm -hmm. was a lot more manageable. And again, as someone who's type A and anxiety prone, it was so much easier than being like, so what do you think is wrong with you? And me being mm -hmm. like, no idea. <laughs> I can see where that would be really overwhelming. Yeah. Now that you're talking to me about it, just to have someone say, how are you doing today? And you're like, yeah. well, I don't even know how to answer that question yet. Yeah. I don't even know if I have the skill set or the language for that necessarily yet. Exactly. We, right. I, we don't need to assume that someone can answer that question, uh -huh. not just that they won't, but they might be like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I had on repeat in the script in my head that whenever I said anyone, how are you doing? Fine. It was completely fine. Mm -hmm. It was not good. It was not bad. I was terrible internally, but I was just fine. Right. This was what my baseline was and it wasn't going to change. And so if someone asked me, even a therapist, I'd say I was fine. I remember the reason I first got hospitalized was because I'd completely shut down. I wasn't talking. Mm -hmm. I wasn't giving any insight to what I was experiencing. They, like, yeah. There was no ability to articulate any of those things right. and let alone be in touch with them because I had been avoiding any sign of emotion for uh -huh. months and years at that point. Yeah. And so um, these more concrete things that were, again, hypothetical and not as sensitive were like much easier and mm -hmm. something I was much more interested in doing than talking about what was internally going on. So it was like almost like a baby step exactly. <laughs> that you needed yeah. to get through. I know I joke with my clients once yeah. they've gotten to know me a little better, I'll be like, yeah. 
if you say fine, you know, I'm digging in even more, Yes, you know, yes. <laughs> like the, once we do, once that word comes out, yeah, um, exactly. you're going to get a lot more questions. Yeah, so you're better was, off a hundred percent starting with something else. It was almost like the, like I, I'm asking for a friend. It's like, how do you yeah. use a tip yeah. skill when you're dying from a panic attack asking for a yeah. friend, not for me. <laughs> right, right. So right. it definitely was more manageable mm -hmm. and allowed me to learn those skills and then eventually get to the point of implementing that myself.